Alien, Romulus is already in danger of continuing the franchise's worst trend. Feed Alvarez Alien, Romulus promises to be an exciting and much needed reset for the popular sci-fi horror franchise yet the movie's fresh story risks continuing a disappointing franchise trend. Although Alien's monster is one of the great science fiction creations of all time the series' true strength comes from its characters. In the original series Sigourney Weaver's Ellen Ripley was an iconic ever-present, with the lack of a similar presence explaining why subsequent Alien movies have failed to resonate with audiences. However while characters are an asset for Alien they can also cause problems. Although the exact story is a closely guarded secret Alvarez Alien, Romulus will follow an all-new crew at a hitherto unseen point in the Alien franchise timeline. Set between the events of Alien and Aliens the movie represents a return to the series' original chronology before Ridley Scott's prequels reshaped the story. Given the divisive reputation of all Alien movies post James Cameron's Aliens this fresh approach is essential. Yet however necessary it might be Alien, Romulus' new story also risks repeating a well-documented issue with Alien movies. As a hard reset with a brand new cast and story Alien, Romulus is deliberately differentiating itself from previous Alien movies. However in playing down its connection to what's come before and featuring an all new cast the movie risks continuing Alien's worst trend of establishing great characters and interesting stories only to abandon them and leave them unresolved. It's a problem that however necessary in this instance has afflicted the franchise for 32 years. Alien, Covenant ended with both Daniels and David alive as well as an active mystery around the fate of the Covenant's colonists. Just as Alien 3 unceremoniously killed Newt and Hicks off-screen and Alien, Covenant followed David instead of Elizabeth Shaw after her equally gruesome death, wasting their potential stories, Alien, Romulus is opening a new chapter in the Alien saga without fulfilling the story potential of the previous installments. Alien. Covenant ended with both Daniels and David alive as well as an active mystery around the fate of the Covenant's colonists. Whatever the movie's many flaws this was a tantalizing cliffhanger that will now almost certainly go unaddressed. In ignoring an interesting character arc from a previous installment Alien, Covenant repeated the exact same franchise mistake that Alien 3 had made in 1992 with the deaths of Newt and Hicks. Just as with Shaw Newt and Hicks were key players in the events of Aliens who while still playing a supporting role to Ripley established themselves as fan favorites by Aliens ending. However their popularity wasn't enough to save either from an ignominious off-screen death at the start of Alien 3, a move that prompted extreme criticism from both fans critics and filmmakers. The parallels between Newt and Hicks off-screen deaths in Alien 3's opening crash sequence and Shaw's murder by David are clear. Both sets of characters had been central in the previous film, with Shaw playing an even larger role than either Newt or Hicks, and both were seemingly primed for interesting future stories fighting the Xenomorph menace. The consequences of all three deaths were also similar with Alien 3 and Alien, Covenant forced to follow new characters rather than building on the relationships established in previous installments. Except for Ripley herself and David in Prometheus. And Covenant. No. Alien. Movie features prominent returning characters, despite several having potentially interesting stories. It's telling that while Covenant and Alien 3 are the most egregious examples of Alien movies abandoning interesting character arcs they are not the only instances. Except for Ripley herself and David in Prometheus and Covenant no Alien movie features prominent returning characters, despite several having potentially interesting stories. Alien Resurrection had a whole crew left alive by the movie's end while the controversial Alien vs. Predator films also had their share of surviving characters. Although its blank slate approach is understandable Alien, Romulus is continuing the trend of leaving earlier stories unaddressed, however justifiable this approach may be. As a gruesome sci-fi horror movie it's inevitable that some characters won't survive the events of Alien, Romulus. Already from the film's exciting teaser trailer it's clear that the new cast faces multiple threats, from explosions in space to an onslaught of multiple face-huggers. 
however if the franchise is to avoid a continuation of the trend that has proved so problematic for the past three decades it's vital that any surviving characters play some role in whatever alien story comes next. All. Alien. Movies are available to stream on Disney+. Plus. Alien 3 and Alien, Covenant both demonstrated that subverting audience expectations around which characters might feature next time around is not an effective approach. Alien, Covenant's abandonment of Shaw's story meant that the movie became less about the search for mankind's origins and instead transformed into a parable about a killer robot. Likewise Alien 3's bleak opening completely undermined Ripley's heroics at the end of Aliens, cheapening one of science fiction's most iconic scenes in the process. In order to avoid similar mistakes it's essential that Alien, Romulus' new generation play a part in the story to come. Ridley Scott's Alien marked a shift in the sci-fi genre and kicked off a space horror franchise but there's definitely a worst and best Alien movie. In some ways Alien, Romulus has already fallen into the trap established by Alien, Covenant and Alien 3. Although anything is possible it seems highly unlikely at this stage that Romulus will address what happened after Alien, Covenant's ending cliffhanger meaning that David and Daniel's stories will be just as wasted as those of Shawnute and Hicks. However while this aspect of the movie is almost certainly unavoidable Alvarez's new future for the Alien series can still insulate itself from the mistakes of the past. One strategy can be for Romulus to at least acknowledge the events of chronologically earlier Alien stories. This will make the movie feel less like a total reset and more part of a contiguous universe. While this could be difficult given the extent to which Prometheus and Covenant altered alien lore it would at least be a recognition that the previous movies mattered whilst also acknowledging that the story needed to be reset. Alvarez himself has hinted that he's open to such an approach confirming that Alien, Romulus, is connected to all of, the earlier Alien movies, via THR. If a direct sequel follows with Romulus Having left one or two characters alive then the franchise will finally have moved beyond its 30-year-old returning character problem. A subtle reference to the Covenant and the events of Prometheus could help explain to viewers why that story is no longer the main focal point of the Alien series. Equally however the legacy of Alien, Romulus characters will only really be confirmed by whatever story comes next. If a direct sequel follows with Romulus having left one or two characters alive then the franchise will finally have moved beyond its 30-year-old returning character problem. If not then Alien, Romulus risks becoming another installment with an interesting story and no resolution. We want to hear from you. Share your opinions in the thread below and remember to keep it respectful. This thread is open for discussion. Be the first to post your thoughts. A Dune cosplayer looks nearly identical to Timothy Calumet's performance as Paul Atreides in a detailed outfit based on the movie Duology. The MCU's X-Men movies and shows might need to make one specific mutant hero more or less realistic than his Fox and Marvel Comics counterparts. The new biographical movie site starring Greg Kinnear and Terry Chen debuts with a near-perfect approval score from audiences on Rotten Tomatoes. Furiosa the prequel to Mad Max, Fury Road performed poorly in its opening weekend begging the question of why its box office is so underwhelming. While the greatest martial arts stars were all excellent fighters they also practiced various disciplines and were quite different from each other. Catherine O'Hara is back as Delia Dietz in Beetlejuice 2 and the sequel will include a twist that takes the character to an interesting location. Ghostbusters Frozen Empire's worldwide box office total manages to sneak past a major global milestone even after being released on VOD.